H O. The solution for humanity. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, most merciful, I greet you, my dear viewers, all of you in our Islamic way. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May Allah's peace, mercy, and blessings be with you all. In this program, we were trying to review together the scientific precision in the glorious Quran as a living testimony to the divine nature of this book, particularly in time we are living in it today, this time where science and technology have developed at a fantastic pace, and people have been highly fascinated by the results of science and technology, and they ask for the scientific proof in any argument you raise with them. In this exercise, we have been trying to discuss Quranic notions to plants. And we came to verses number 27 and 28 in Surah Fatir. And this is the 35th chapter in the glorious Quran. The verse reads, Alam tara anna Allaha anzala min as-samai ma'an. Haven't you seen that Allah sends down water, being grain, from the sky? And this address is to Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, and to all those who believe in his message, and to all who can read the Quran or listen to it, to meditate about this very important, essential point in making Earth a lively planet, in making Earth a planet suitable for life. In discussing water in the glorious Quran, we have mentioned the importance of this cycle, without which all the water on the surface of our planet would have gone bad in no time. أَلَمْ تَرَ أَنَّ اللَّهَ أَنْزَلَ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مَاءً فَأَخْرَجْنَا بِهِ ثَمَرَاتٍ مُخْتَلِفًا أَنْوَانُهَا With this water, Allah is saying, we then bring out produce of various colors. And people may really listen to this verse and pass by it without any meditation about it. But one of the greatest signs of Allah in our creation is the vast variety of the products of plants in color, in shape, in taste, in smell. No human being can have any control on this. Initially, man may still play around with the genetic code, but we see that this natural variation comes from a secret Allah has placed within the tiny little embryo in the seed of every plant. This tiny little embryo, Allah has given it the power to choose from the elements 
and chemical compounds of the soil only what suits it. And that's why we get this vast variety of fruits of different plants. You can see an olive tree side by side by a grape tree, by an apple tree, by a fig tree, by any other type of tree. They are all coming from the same soil and the same water. But the yield is completely different in shape, in size, in smell, in taste, in flavor. And this is really a testimony for the might, knowledge, and wisdom of the Creator. Because no man had any control on that before genetics as a science has developed. Nowadays, people try to play with these genetic characters of plants. Their play can be absolutely destructive and harmful to life. ومن الجبال جذر بيض وحمر مختلف ألوانها وغرابيب سود. And from the mountains are tracts of white and red and of various shades of color and black intense in hue. And actually all these rocks came from the same magma, from the same hot melting or semi-molten material below the crust. And the power of the Creator to allow this magma to differentiate, to have certain temperatures of crystallization for every of its components. And this one same magma has been differentiated into the, all these various shapes of rocks. Secondly, these three colors, red and white on one side, simulating or representing highly acidic rocks, dark green and the black representing highly basic and ultra basic rocks, and all shades in between. And this is again is a testimony of the might, wisdom, and knowledge of the Creator, who from the same magma can produce for us this varied colors of rocks. ومن الجبال جدد بيض وحمر مختلف ألوانها وغرابي بسود. And from the mountains are tracks white and red of various shades of color and black intense in hue. ومن الناس والدواب والأنعام مختلف ألوانه كذلك. And so amongst men and moving creatures and cattle are they of various colors. The Quran tells us that all human beings inhabiting the earth today, seven billion individual or more, and all the billions that lived before us and died, and all the billions that will come after us until the end of this world, all this came from a single couple, Adam and Eve, may Allah be pleased with them both. And we were all within a single genetic code. Its half was in the backbone of Adam, may Allah be pleased with him, and the other half in the backbone of Eve, may Allah be pleased with her. This great variation in the colors, in the tongues, in the dimensions, in the shape of human beings is again a living testimony to the great knowledge of the Creator, a great power of the Creator to unfold hundreds of billions of individuals from a single genetic code. And the same thing goes to plants, to animals, and all living beings. Because of this, of this great detail that testifies to the might, knowledge, and wisdom of the Creator, this wonderful verse is terminated by saying, Verily, those who heed Allah most are well knowledgeable scholars, are scholars who know the wonders of creation of Allah. And then it says, Inna Allah Azizun Ghafoor. Allah is exalted in might, oft forgiving. And here again is a very important point which I have to raise with you is that many people think that the scholastic term, the true scholar, is only given 
to religious scholars. And this is not true. Any knowledge beneficial to man is highly appreciated by our Creator, or glory be to Him. And these verses speak about gained knowledge, does not speak about the revealed knowledge. The coming of water from the sky, this is a branch of knowledge called meteorology. The plantation of the different plants to give fruits of different colors, this is actually a certain branch of agriculture. Mountains of various colors, this is geology. Humans and animals of various shapes, this is of course the branch of studying of human beings, the branch of studying animals, zoology, all this cover very many branches of what we call the gained knowledge. And by this, they're saying that any beneficial knowledge that can aid man to play his role successfully on the surface of that planet, enrich life on the surface of that planet, is highly appreciated by our Creator and has to be appreciated by every sane person. And we'll come to a short break and then come back to you, inshallah. And until then, I thank you for listening and greet you in our Islamic way. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May Allah's peace, mercy, and blessings be with you all. Or divorce? What's Islamic ruling? Nikah. Solution or problem? Heaven or hell? Uh, there is a misconception. You choose. Beauty, wealth, family status, virtue. Decide what you want. Decide your choice. Be sad or be happy. It's your choice. Join Dr. Zakir Naik in Better Half or Bitter Half every Friday at 6.30 p.m. and repeat telecast at 9.30 a.m. UK on Peace TV. Spreading awareness. If you go way back to the time of the Prophet, ﷺ, we find that the companions, they differed. But the difference was not in clashing and fighting. Why this issue is so controversial today in Islam? In Islam. Promoting righteousness. All the four scholars themselves, they said, if you find a hadith that goes against my saying, then you take the hadith. Once the concept is understood, I think many problems will be solved. Emphasizing God's message of peace for humankind. Never take as a close, intimate friend, except a woman. One who has the taqwa, who are the truthful, who are the truthful. Uplifting our faith and good deeds. Patience in the obedience of Allah. Patience in abstaining from that which is haram. The greater the reward is in this life and the Grasp the opportunity to enhance your knowledge of Islam in Islamic Viewpoint. Next on Peace TV. Welcome back after this short break and I continue with our discussion of Quranic notions to plants and the scientific precision in them. We read in Surah Az-Zumar, chapter number 39 in the Glorious Quran, verse number 21, the following verse that reads, أَلَمْ تَرَ أَنَّ اللَّهَ أَنْزَلَ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مَاءً فسلكه ينابيع في الأرض ثم يخرج به زرعا مختلفا ألوانه ثم يهيج فتراه مصفرا ثم يجعله حطاما إن في ذلك لذكرى لأولي الألباب Have you not seen that Allah sends down water means grain from the sky and causes it to percolate in the form of springs 
in the earth and afterwards he meaning Allah or glory be to him produces with it crops of different colors then they wither out and you see them turn yellow then he Allah makes them dry and broken to pieces verily in this is a reminder for those who can understand and when we look into this verse again Allah is showing his great bounty on us by making water circulate around the earth to purify this water continuously have you not seen that Allah sent down water with the grain from the sky and caused it to percolate in the ground in the form of springs and here is a notion to the great mercy of Allah in making the rocks of this planet vary greatly in their degree of porosity and permeability and that's why some of these rocks can carry a part of the rainwater and store it for the benefit of human beings many countries in our planet today do not have permanent sources of water they don't have rivers they don't have streams they don't have freshwater lakes and they live on whatever Allah has stored for them in the ground whatever is stored from the rainwater through this great gift from Allah the variation in the degree of porosity and permeability of the rocks and the soil ثم يخرج به زرعا مختلفا ألوانه again Allah is showing his great bounty on us and give us varied number of fruits of plants and products of plants because if we were to eat one type only of food all the time we would lose interest in it completely so Allah out of his mercy to us has made the earth capable of producing a very large number of fruits and products that suit every taste every desire every wish have you not seen that Allah sent down water meaning rain from the sky and caused it to percolate in the form of springs in the earth and afterwards he produces with it crops of different colors and as we mentioned in a previous session that this variation in color is a hint to the mystery Allah has placed in the embryo of each seed this genetic code that gives this tiny little embryo of the seed the power to choose certain minerals and chemical compositions from the soil it is grown on top of it and this was knowledge came to us only very recently after the field of genetics has developed then they wither and you see them turn yellow then he makes them dry and broken to pieces this is a point of wisdom that man should look at because the devil is always tempting man that life is eternity despite the fact we see death around us every day every second every minute yet man is not concerned with it and he assumes that he is eternal on the surface of this planet and this wrong assumption are the root causes of many aggressions many greeds many injustices in our world and that's why Allah is pointing to this fact you see the plant green and flourishing and producing lovely fruits and other products and once it withers out turns yellow after being green and then is actually withers out and dries up and is broken to pieces so this is a lesson to us every sane person who sees death in human beings in animals in plantation would immediately apply this to himself I am not eternal on the surface of that planet I have a very short period of existence and then there will be death accountability judgment and eternity in life to come on the basis of my behavior 
on the surface of this planet, there will be my status in the life to come, either in paradise forever or in hell forever. We also read in Surah Ar-Ra'd, chapter number 13, in the glorious Quran, verse number 4, the Quran reads, وفي الأرض قطع متجاورات وجنات من أعناب وزرع ونخيل صنوان وغير صنوان يسقى بماء واحد ونفضل بعضها على بعض في الأكل إن في ذلك لآيات لقوم يعقلون And in the earth are neighboring tracts of rock and soil and gardens of vines and the green crops and palm trees alike and different. And this shows again the might of the Creator, the knowledge and the wisdom of the Creator, watered with the same water. Yet some of them we make more excellent than others to eat. Behold, verily, in these things there are signs for those who understand. This again reflects on the same issue we mentioned just a few moments ago that one of the great secrets Allah has placed within the seeds of plants is the genetic code and this genetic code can only occupy a tiny invisible volume within the nucleus of the living cell yet Allah has given this genetic code this embryo within the seed to choose from the minerals and chemical compositions of the soil only what suits it and that's why we get this vast variation in the products of plants regardless of the fact that they grow on the same soil and they are watered with the same water and this again is a way of reflection on the might knowledge and wisdom of the creator all this and not be the product of an accident or a chance. In Surah Ar-Rum, chapter number 30, verse number 19, we read, يُخْرِجُ الْحَيَّ مِنَ الْمَيِّثِ وَيُخْرِجُ الْمَيِّثَ مِنَ الْحَيِّ وَيُحْيِي الْأَرْضَ بَعْدَ مَوْتِهَا وَكَذَلِكَ تُخْرَجُونَ Allah, or glory be to Him, is the one who brings out the living from the dead and brings out the dead from the living. And He revives the earth after its death and thus shall you be brought out from the dead again the fact that Allah brings out the living from the dead we see in ourselves our whole body actually comes from a genetic code half of it was in the backbone of the father the other half in the backbone of the mother and these two germ cells from the father and the mother unite to produce a fertilized ovum and this fertilized ovum starts to live on the blood of the mother in her own womb and the blood is derived from her food and her food is derived from the what she eats and what she eats comes from a dead soil and the great knowledge of the creator can produce out of this dead soil all these living cells of our own bodies and the same thing applies to animals applies to plants actually every plant starts from a seed and in the seed we have a tiny little embryo within the seed and this embryo is enveloped in a mass of food some carbohydrates which is dead and the embryo on watering on plantation it rises and grows and Allah is bringing the living from the dead again every dead body human animal or plant once it decays it goes back to the dust to the clay of the soil and that's why this cycle of living from dead and death from the living is one of the main laws of our life and it is a testimony that we are not eternal on the surface of that planet. Allah is the eternal one and he has created life in this world for a very temporary 
span of time. And this is a lesson every one of us should learn and meditate about it in every creation, in himself, in the humans around himself, in the animal life, in the plant life. He is who brings out the living from the dead and brings out the dead from the living. And he revives the earth after its death. Without rain, the earth actually becomes dry and scattered in the form of dust. Once the rain falls down on it, it revives and becomes alive. And thus shall you be brought out from the dead. Resurrection after death. And Allah, all glory be to him, constantly in the glorious Quran simulates resurrection from death to the revival of plantation from a dead soil. And we have mentioned that before, and inshallah, if we have time to discuss man in the glorious Quran, we will elaborate on this point several times. In Surah Al-An'am, the sixth chapter of the glorious Quran, verse number 95, we read, In Allah, Faliq al wa nawa Verily, Allah is the one who causes the seed grain and the fruit stone to split and sprout. He brings forth the living from the dead, and he is the one who brings forth the dead from the living. That is Allah, then how are you deluded away from the truth? This again emphasizes the point which we have just discussed, that the cycle of life from death and death from life is one of the main rules of our existence on the surface of that planet. And I have to stop here, hoping to see you again to elaborate on this point in the coming episode. And until then, I thank you for listening and greet you in our Islamic way. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Solution for Humanity. The value of money in the hereafter will be measured by its proper use in the present. According to the glorious Quran, one of the best ways to use your money is to spend it in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by spreading his message of Islam. Peace TV is a non-profit Islamic satellite television channel that is primarily dedicated for just that cause the proper presentation of Islam. It's a great choice to invest in it and a golden opportunity to purify your wealth in a way 
that pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Support Peace TV. Send your zakat and donations to IRFI Al Ryan Bank 40.